last address I had on him. Yeah, yeah, uh, Senor Rivera, he's kind of tall. Um, well, he moved out about two months ago, sorry. Well, do you know where? Uh, I'm sorry, I don't. Uh, are you okay? Yeah. Are you, are you sure? Thank you. Well, good luck finding your father. tell you that we needed to be at your father's party by nine? I don't feel good, Mom. Just, just go without me. This is a very important night for your father who needs the support from his family, so put yourself together and stop being so selfish. He's not my father, Mom. He comes into my room at night. Don't you dare. Don't you dare blame him for your mistakes. It's bad enough I had your father who didn't have anything to offer me. And now I get a second chance and you're trying to ruin it for me? He doesn't care about us, Mom. Just leave him. What have I done to you? Why are you trying to ruin it? Well, you're the one that wanted to be a slut. Now get out! Okay. Just give me his number. So darling, come on. Can't you see how much we've grown? Yeah. Where the fire's getting warm. Where my heart is always warm. Come back home. Thoughts of us and the times we gave up. Oh, why did we give up? Wish that we would have grown up. Now I wish you'd show up. Oh, 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 oh. now I wish you'd show up. Darling, come home. So, darling, come home. Can't you see? We've grown, yeah. Where the fire's getting warm, where my heart is always warm. Come back home with you, Carlos. Hi, 
I'm Monica Cruz. Nice to meet you. It's nice to meet you. Sit down. I want to thank you for meeting me. No problem. I must tell you, you do have a very interesting story. I mean, to imply that the DA of the city was raping your daughter, and that's what led her to commit suicide? Those are some huge allegations. They're not allegations. It's the truth. Do you have anything that backs up your story? Here. My daughter's diary. It's all in there. Pages and pages of all the abuse she suffered in the house. Carlos, are you willing to have your daughter's body exhumed for DNA testing? You are aware of the public scrutiny that we'll be facing once the story breaks. People of the city have the right to know what kind of piece of shit is running their city. You're right. And I have no problem shooting the story, as long as your ex-wife shows up, of course. Well, she'll show up. She has no choice. I'm going to be honest with you. I will not release the story until you give me the paternity test that proves that he's the father of that unborn child. I'm okay with that. They're entitled to. I'm just going to take this diary and go over it tonight and prepare for tomorrow. You just make sure that you and Sylvia meet me at the graveside by 10 a.m., okay? Hey, I promise you, I'm gonna give you the story of your life. And I believe you. I just hope you're right, for our sakes. Hi, I'm here with Mrs. Davis and Carlos Rivera. Carlos, you believe your daughter was a victim of rape. You have many unanswered questions. What would you like to ask Sylvia, who's with us today? Did my daughter tell you that she was pregnant because she was raped? She wasn't pregnant. She was suffering from depression. She didn't tell you that your husband, the DA of Los Angeles, was raping her? No. Me. He's lying. Sylvia, I got the diary from the housekeeper. It's all there, Sylvia. Can you shut this camera off? This interview is over. You lost your mind. I just want to know the truth. That's... Can you shut the camera off or I'm going to sue your ass? Mrs. Davis, Carlos has every right to know the truth about his daughter's death. The truth is very simple. She had no backbone, just like her pathetic father. And as for the diary, well, I'm sure that you made that up, huh? You just couldn't stand the fact that I left you for someone better. Now you're trying to ruin me. Don't forget who I'm married to and what I can do to you. The story gets out, I have your fucking job. Sylvia! <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh, God.